to the other, like this. And if you do that, one, you're going to blunt your blade. Do you guys hear that? Yes. yes. Yeah. On the table each time I went. So that is going to blunt the blade. You only get so many blades, they cost money. You will have to replace your own blades eventually. When this goes into the oven, what will happen is all these little bits will separate, but they'll separate like this. Right? Will not look very good. Will look terrible. Another one that people often do incorrectly is this. Now that is almost right. They have started on the right side here, they have ended on the right side there. But because there is a gap here, so their cuts are not overlapping, what that means is when this bakes, where there is no cut, it will shrink like this, yeah? And where there are cuts, it will spread open. We want it to spread open, but we want it to spread evenly. We don't want it to look like that. So the correct cutting procedure for a baguette are overlapping cuts. So some of your vision might not be as good, I will separate them. So the cut ends here, and my second cut has started a third of the way up the first cut. They are overlapping. This means that when it bakes and these open, they will all open very evenly together while maintaining the same exact shape of a baguette. Does that make sense?